Enough. Here, I'll go. Let me see if I can find the pizza guy. Okay. Right. I'll be right our, back. Can you, can you handle it? Well, I, I hope so. I'll be right back with some discussion. Pie. And we want to tell, we want people to uh, get involved in this conversation. What do you think? If you're watching oh, you on, have, on the Seven News app, in the car. where are you going? Well, the Denver Channel. Oh, go uh, send us a tweet the, at Lionel B. And, at and Aaron phone. Anderson. No, he's not here. Or at Seven News app. Send us a tweet. Ask us a question. Uh, make a comment. Yeah, I'm listening to you, Brad. Tell us how ridiculous we are. Talk about how bad our hair looks. Whatever. Uh, just send us a tweet, and we will uh, we will answer them on the air. If you want to call in, Deb, what's the number to call in? If you want. 303. 303. 831. 831. News. News. N-E-O-S? I'm just kidding. N-E-W-S. I can spell news. <laughs> All right. 831. News. Call us. Um, in the meantime, uh, we, we talked about uh, what the players were saying about Peyton Manning, how they like their quarterback to be relaxed, confident, calm, cool, collected, right? Uh, let's listen to some of the players talking about Peyton right now from today. He's been that way all year, and I think you know that's why his performance is at a high level. He's confident. He's comfortable. This is an opportunity for our team and, and for him to, to become Super Bowl champions. So I think you can you can sense uh, his excitement for the game, and um, that's probably what you guys are seeing a little bit of. All righty. Uh, here's a seven app cast first. We're taking a phone call live on the air. Apparently we have Victor on the line. Victor, how are you tonight? I'm pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Not bad, man. I'm sitting here in a uh, live satellite truck in the parking lot of MetLife Stadium uh, three days before the Super Bowl. It's a little chilly, but hey, things could be worse. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm just watching, uh, watching the news, watching you guys uh, have a discussion. Well, what do you got to say, man? What's up? I don't know. I just uh, I hear where that guy's coming from, but uh, um. Dude, we just took a call. From who? From Victor, but uh, he's gone now. Oh, well, we do have another call for you. Why don't you have the pizza guy call? Well, if you're watching Gretchen, pizza guy, give us a ring. Gretchen's on the line and wants to talk, I guess, Super Bowl. Gretchen, Gretchen what's Gretchen. up? How are you? Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing fine. I'm sitting here looking at the television trying to get more and more ideas about what's going on in New York because I got two boys that are coming out there tomorrow. And not boys, they're men. And I'm just wondering, you know, what's going on? Are, people, are there a lot of people in Newark that might be watching it or, you know, walking around there? Or are we getting... Why don't we get more guys in, in, in Denver, in New York City? That's my concern. But the other thing is I just like having you guys tell us because my sons are going and they want to hear all about it. All right. The place they right. need to go is they have to go to Times Square, which has become Super Bowl Boulevard. Uh, I believe it's 12 blocks they've shut down. They have all kinds right. of crazy stuff. They can get their pictures taken with the Lombardi Trophy. NFL Network has um, their, their set is there espn set is there there are celebrities running around and the other place they want to hang out is the sheraton times square if you walk through that lobby you will not go 10 feet without bumping into somebody you've seen play football on tv right. it's crawling or, with athletes it's or great an announcer uh, all the nfl and espn announcers are there arn and i are there yeah what more could you want well um but we ran into pizza. what's that they Liz wants to talk about pizza Pizza? Yes. Well, go on. I'm all, right. all ears. Yeah, we're all ears. We're um, we're we waiting to talk about Peyton Manning and Richard Sherman and things of that nature. But pizza is a good thing too. What's your favorite topping on a pizza? Just out of curiosity. What kind of talk pizza? to Liz. She's on the phone. Okay. I'm sorry. Did, I guess we switched. Liz, good evening. How are you, dear? I'm fine. I hey, can't I'm believe I got through. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Olympia, it's very easy to get through to us. There's not a whole lot of hot demand. Yeah, there's to talk to us. Our, our phones are not ringing, Liz. We're I thought we may called have called us. you to say, hey, I, you want to talk? Ha, ha, good pizza, I, Bruce? No? Oh. I'm so excited for the Broncos. <clears throat> Liz, where are, you, where are you calling from? Are you in Colorado? I am. I'm in Fort Collins, and I want to know, what is the pizza place in Fort Collins? <laughs> 
It's called Celestino's Live yes. from New York Pizza. Celestino's Live. Where it. is it? Where is it? I don't know where it is, but here's a funny story. I met Celestino, who's from New Jersey when I worked in Chico, California back in 1999. Became really good friends with him. His pizza is authentic New York, New Jersey pizza. It's right. thin crust. It's fantastic. It sits right across from campus, and that thing is busy from the, the second it opens till the second it closes. And I've kept in touch with Chell. Who's Chell. open? Yeah, I call him. Some people you call him C. I call him Chell. Well, hey, that's you're, what happens you're an when, insider. when you hang out you're in the pizza the joint. Guy. So, long story short, I knew that that Celestino had moved back to New Jersey. He got married, and um, we were talking about the Super Bowl. And his wife happens to be a Broncos fan, and uh, I said, you know, we're heading out that way. We we need to you know get together. And so Monday we were starving, and I said, I got a guy, and I called Chell, and before we knew it, we had <laughs> two pizzas. And the next day, Marshall Zellinger went out and did a story with Chell. Right, for the Fort Collins connection. Right? Yes. Marshall, this story gets even weirder because Marshall, when he called Celestino on the phone, put two and two together and realized this was not only a Celestino, this was the Celestino who, who owned the restaurant where he ate all this pizza when he was uh, a Colorado State Ram. Please, and please continue on with your long I story will. short. And, and I'll answer the phone. Marshall <laughs> Zellwinger worked in Chico. He's a buff, by the way. And, oh, he's a buff? I thought he was a CSU Ram. So Marshall no actually Ram. worked no in Ram. Chico and, and has Ben's eaten pizza? at two different Celestino no. restaurants, Chico, California, and Fort Collins. Look it up in uh, the Yellow Pages, Google it, and when you go in there, tell them that RN sent you, and you'll probably get a deal. Tell them uh, RN sent me. Or Aaron. I respond to Aaron. just about oh, yeah. anything. My, All right. Thanks, or, uh, guys. My, what do you what, what do you uh, order? Well, my you mom, Starbucks. My mom once called me your, uh, Bobo, which was what do you get on the your dog's cup? name? Starbucks. Hey, I don't. Larry. Bobo. Larry. He's Larry, and I'm who? Uh, well, you were Larry last night. Right. It's either Larry or Bill. Hey. All right. Yes. Hey. Yes. Marshall wants to talk and clarify here. Who? Oh, Marshall. Okay. okay. Where is Marshall? Lionel, I'm in the middle of the Marshall. Square. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Marshall, Marshall, Where Marshall, you Marshall, Marshall. Let's clear something up first. I am a okay. CU buff, oh. and I had Celestino's Pizza in Chico, California at my first job. But let's, wow. let's not mix up green and gold and black and gold here. We are a well, CU wait buff, a wait, wait, and we got to get that out I, there. I thought you had eaten in Fort Collins as well. I've eaten nope. yes. But not long so being the CSU Ram. So the only thing I got wrong was your alma mater. Hey, oh, you know, it, it, yeah, that's not back. a big deal. No, it's CU, not. CU. I mean, you, Bruce, you I think guys. there's a lot of Ram fans. CU, CSU, what's the difference? Well, uh, when it comes to talent, football teams, you know, there's a big but difference. That's another story. But go ahead. Uh, How you guys doing like over there? Add, what, pardon me? How you guys doing over there? Well, we're talking football. We yeah. thought, and it's uh, kind of just took a devolved bender. into pizza. So we're waiting for pizza we to got, arrive. We got Brad out there trying to find the pizza delivery man. He's got my phone. We're starving. All right, let's take another phone call. Thanks for calling, Marshall. Yeah, yeah. It was interesting. Uh, Zach <laughs> is on the phone right now. Zach, you out there? Yeah. How are you? Yeah, how are you? Where are you calling from, Zach? I'm uh, calling from Denver. Denver. Nice. All right, All right. What's going on back there? Snowpocalypse two. Uh, not as ba bad. Uh, I'm enjoying it. So, okay. very good. Yeah. Are you going to be watching? And I want to know where you're going to be watching the Super Bowl. What are the plans for a Sunday? Um, I'm actually going to go uh, up to Parachute, uh, where one of the three amigos uh, actually owns uh, awesome. a restaurant up there. So I'm going to go up there and eat. Friends and family. You're going to be uh, surrounded by people in orange and blue. Of course, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to be any near any Seattle Seahawks fans. I have a question for you. When you see us on TV, do you have any idea how cold we are? Um, I have are to actually go back out to look. Uh, you look pretty warm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right now we do. Right now we do. Yeah, so, it looks cold. Zach, let me ask you another question. What do you think? What do you think of, or what do you believe um, the reason is for Peyton Manning's kind of change of behavior, a noticeable change of behavior the last two days, in terms of his his demeanor, his pleasantness, his his niceness, his charm. Yeah. 
his comedic abilities. Why do you think he's kind of changed his his outlook the last couple of days? I think he finally, like, con- completely trusts completely in all of our, not only our offense, but as well as our defense to actually make stops, as we saw against the Pats. And so I think he truly believes we could we could take this one. So he's allowed to open up and he's allowed to be more friendly because I think he's more confident about the uh, Super Bowl win. So I think he has no reason to like close up at all. That's I think exactly that's a, right. We said that's that a great point days. because you have a guy who comes here and I think he always said the right thing about this is a team, but I think underneath it all, he may have felt like, man, I got to do this myself. I think since the playoffs began, there's been a real thrust by this team. Everybody's kicked in. It's We've seen the defense play well. Special teams has played well. Offensive line has played as well as any offensive line in football. They've been dominating. Right. And I think this may be a release for him where he feels like, wow, everybody's pulling their weight. And, and I don't have to do this myself. And, yeah. you know, when he talked about feeling like, you know, he was excited to be a Bronco. I want to, I want to, I'm glad to be here as a Bronco. I want to win this for Pat Bowen. We have never heard that out of him before. I mean, I think he really feels like he's a Bronco. Right. Whereas last year it was just, it was kind of a transient. He came in, he was just feeling his way out. Now it's like, man, this is my home. Let's go out and put another Lombardi in that thing. Pie! All right, let's, uh, hey, we got pizza. The pizza's here. Oh, oh, hey, whoa, Chalestino. get the Chalestino. Chalestino. Look at that Look pie, at this baby. Pie. This is kind of our, uh, our oh first hot gosh. meal of the day. This We've been fantastic. up since 5 a.m. and Brad, Mike said traveling it. around. It's and easy. It's like Brad, finally get a chance to eat. Hey, uh, let's go to Mike guy. Nelson now while we divvy up these uh, pies. Mike, um, like it's 27 <laughs> degrees right now in, uh, in New Jersey. Uh, oh. Game day is looking pretty good here at MetLife Stadium, right? But uh, back home, there's some problems uh, developing. Is that true? We have a pretty good storm out here. 